everyone welcome back to ebony with genghis yemer day always fun a uh, couple things in ebony today so there's new watchtower levels that uh you know you might want to increase if you want different reports there's server mergers and ebony enticing people into new packages or new rewards on non-event days because people don't really spend on non-event days anyways uh, we're on server 321, 234. They just had a merge. I just uh, I know a few people on the server, so I'm always curious how these go and uh, see where people plant their flags, the pecking order, that sort of stuff. So uh, this appears to be the new top alliance on the server, or was the top alliance, continues to be, but mergers of both top, I guess. Uh, so big player here, Dark Fire, 50 billion, and 55. Don't want her getting mad at me. And anyways, formerly basically a one-man team. We faced them in Battlefield and SVS. But, uh, you know, server mergers bring new hope. And she has some new large teammates with her now. So all the best to this server. Maybe it'll uh, help them out. And anyways, let's look at other stuff that's going on in Ebony. So Watchtower. Ebony sneakily added a few Watchtower levels. So if you're like me, you kind of stopped at... Uh, a level around here because there was nothing new 33 i feel like i needed that to upgrade something that's why i was there um 30 that was the last thing that you needed for buffs 33 i feel like i needed it for something i can't remember what like warehouse or whatever anyways uh 37 look they snuck in information on target's main city defense generals so maybe it will allow you to click on the general and look at the gear uh because otherwise it doesn't really matter because you can see the buffs so it would have to be something like that but who scouts nowadays anyways ebony's got this all wrong scouting don't even matter now eight bill send the horse six bill send ground 12 bill send archers like there's just numbers you don't even need to know anymore you just send so ebony's made attacking so powerful that you really don't need to prepare too much and then at 41, unlocks information on the target's reinforcement buffs. Again, people kind of just look at reinforcements and they're like, oh, there's 20 million of them? Okay, we'll get that target later. So not sure how uh, valuable that information is. The upgrade to the, uh, to the watchtower is definitely not on my priority list. Now, if it allowed you to actually get some sort of advantage, like, hey, you scouted this, you get a 10% advantage or something in the attack. Okay, now we're talking. Otherwise, most people just gonna go for speed and throw blind. Let's look at the other thing Ebony added. So, if you spend money on non-events, you get this sort of stuff, right? They always have these rewards. Thanks to uh, viewer out there, I don't wanna say his name, I don't know if, uh, you know, it's a tip that he wants out there. Anyways, Look at this. If you are foolish enough to spend $400 a day on the non-event days instead of spending on the other days. Now, forget that if you're doing it on the Aptoid 30% uh, days promo code Genghis, then of course you might have to spend on these days. But look what Ebony gives you. Ebony gives you the perfect type of blazons to start with. Now, the only problem is you could still screw them up at level 10 and 15, right? So Ebony really should. Like, Blazons are pretty old now. They should be upping these to level 15 where they have perfect matches and people don't have to worry about screwing up. I can't tell you how many times some of them I just keep restarting over and over and over and then I get to level 10 or 15 and I get a troop load or a training capacity, or a siege attack on monster. So until they do that, I don't really think that's going to entice people, but I do think eventually Ebony is going to have to do that sort of stuff and offer guaranteed stuff. I understand why they don't, because in the auction house they offer that sort of stuff. So they put a price on it. Ebony tends to stick to that price for a long time until the spending cools. So anyways, let me know in the comment section if anyone has the Watchtower higher levels and if you've actually scouted someone, what sort of information do we get on the generals? And let me know how your merges went. Uh, I know a lot of people went from uh, nap servers to bubble or burn servers and uh, all the fun that comes with that. So like, subscribe, leave a comment.